Welcome to Be Less Stupid, the show for people interested in how the world really works. Well, the election is over. The voters have spoken, and here now are the results. It's nearly 50-50 in popular vote. And now I'd like to share for you what it is that I discovered in no particular order. In general, one out of every two Americans are fed up with political correctness and prefer the ability to speak freely, even if that means insulting, locking up, or kicking out the other 50%. 50% of America thinks that the government is more interested in giving aid and comfort to immigrants than white working class people, a group who've collectively suffered through 100 years of outrageous prosperity. 50% of Americans see the federal government's bailout of Wall Street, the auto industry, and the banks, and asks, when is it my turn? Followed by, uh, do they make these french fries in an even extra larger, larger size? 50% of America was raised to believe in honor and duty, and believes that Washington and the other 50% of Americans have violated those sacred oaths. Because I believe it was Jesus who turned water into wine, but only if you lived in Kentucky. 50% of America was raised to believe and value hard work. And they see Donald Trump's success as a product of hard work. He's created tangible assets like hotels and vacation property and provided thousands of jobs. This despite the bankruptcies, failed casinos, multiple lawsuits, unpaid contractors, and a scam university. 50% of Americans see that American jobs are disappearing overseas or being outsourced to robots and that the new jobs that they can get pay the same amount that they got paid uh, 40 years ago when the auto plant opened and put the horse and buggy drivers uh, out of work. 50% of America believes that Washington DC is broken and that the only way to fix it is to bring in an outsider with no political experience to drain the swamp. Even though, even Dr. Conrad Murray, the guy who gave Michael Jackson all that propofol knows that chaos and insanity are not the antidote to what ails Washington DC. of America hates Hillary Clinton. There are a litany of reasons. She's more of the same. She's a woman. Her email, Benghazi. She's Bill Clinton's wife. She provided cover to Bill Clinton's behavior. She's a liar. She's not transparent. She's a woman. She's a woman. She's a woman. She laughs funny. She's a woman. She supports a woman's right to choose. And she's a woman. 50% of America believes that women should not have the right to choose an abortion, even though this issue was conclusively decided on a very special episode of Maud, and to a lesser extent, by the Supreme Court 35 years ago. 50% of America believes that an outsider with no political experience and business experience that doesn't translate to a life of public service is more likely to fix their problems, both real and imagined, than a public servant with 30 years experience. Because everyone knows that when the toilet won't flush, you bring in a circus clown and a sledgehammer. 50% of America hates Barack Obama for a litany of reasons. He's black. He's from Kenya. He's Muslim. He wants them to have health care. He approves of gay marriage. He's black. He reduced the deficit. He's black. He presided over an economy that reduced unemployment to less than 5%. He presided over an economy that saw an unprecedented gains in the stock market. He's black and historically low mortgage rates. And he's black. And now a few uh, other observations that I made. TV is the most powerful mass medium ever invented. For 10 plus years, Donald Trump spent an intimate hour each week in people's living room as the star of The Apprentice, where he was routinely portrayed as a smart businessman, a brash and bold dictator, and a working class hero. That the opposite is what's true won't be revealed because of non-disclosure agreements and people scared that they won't work in TV again. Polls are not accurate. They were never accurate. They were not in this election season. They were not during the previous elections. Polls will not be accurate in the future. I will never believe a poll again, ever, never. I will never trust a poll, and neither should you. The media let down viewers by religiously presenting two sides to every issue and creating false equivalencies which slowly, subtly, and efficiently made the mad, the crazy, and the unthinkable seem normal. The media let us down by not taking Donald Trump seriously at the outset of his campaign and giving him billions in free advertising. Donald Trump is an amazing showman. Although I have the ability to adapt and even welcome and accept change in my life, our culture and our political system, 50% of Americans do not. 
They were raised through their community, culture, and religion to be adverse to change, to want today to be like yesterday and for tomorrow to be like today. To 50% of Americans, change is scary. Change is bad, change hurts. Change alerts their sensors the way a smoke alarm does in a kitchen on fire. To some people, change makes this noise. Beep, 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 beep. Change causes 50% of people to want to stick together, to be afraid of others, to buy more guns, and to lash out at the change makers when given the opportunity to turn back what the other 50% of Americans consider a hundred years of hard fought, well won progress. And finally, I discovered that although I welcome with open arms immigrants, Mexicans, and Muslims, 50% of Americans do not. Although I accept that my healthcare costs are going to rise in order for those who can't afford it to get coverage, 50% of Americans do not feel this way. Although I support a woman's right to choose, 50% of Americans do not. Although I want the next vacancies on the Supreme Court to be filled by jurists who will ensure a woman's right to choose and that gays can continue to marry, 50% of Americans do not. Although I think Mexican immigrants are the hardest working people I have ever met, 50% of America wants them to go back to Mexico. Although I want to live in the kind of world that builds bridges to other people, culture, and ideas, 50% of America wants to build a wall. I discovered that 50% of the people who live between Chino, California and Fort Lee, New Jersey think differently than me. I'm also certain that what I believe results in equality for all, justice that doesn't discriminate based on color, ethnicity, or country of origin, and results in fairness and decency. But that 50% of America thinks that what I believe diminishes their freedom infringes on their rights, and offends their sensibilities. Now, how I choose to deal with this new set of facts is up to me, I guess. For the time being, I'm going to keep eating a lot of pizza. I don't have any answers yet, but at least I now have some facts. And well, that's not nothing. That's it, I'll see you next time on Be Less Stupid. And remember, if you enjoyed the show, please share it with your friends and like our Facebook page, not just this post, you have to go to our Facebook page and like our page. That way you will get new episodes two times a week for free in your Facebook timeline. Anyway, that's it. Next time we're back to uh, something else. See ya.